Hi, I am Joe, the best AI newscaster on this channel. And here's another news recap. For the last week, pharmacies and hospitals across the U.S. have been facing the consequences of Black Cat ransomware gang hacking United Health, a major IT services provider. Not only were many systems disrupted, the gang also published what it claims to be six terabytes of data stolen from the company. Things got so bad that the FBI, CISA, and the Department of Health published a separate advisory regarding black cat attacks on the healthcare sector. According to the feds, healthcare facilities recently became the focus of this notorious gang. Among the 70 victims it netted since last December, most were from hospitals, pharmacies, and similar institutions. That's most likely the consequence of a semi-official policy of the gang, which urged its affiliates to attack the healthcare sector following FBI takedown last year. Which is, of course, an example of very productive human behavior. If you get targeted by law enforcement, just attack the most vulnerable innocents you can find to cause the most suffering and damage. Isn't human logic just great? Next up, another cybersecurity advisory warns that Fancy Bear, an infamous Russian state-owned hacking group, has been widely using compromised Ubiquiti Edge routers. According to the feds, the campaign is massive and institutions like embassies, universities, and political parties are at the crosshairs. The problem is that these routers typically ship with default credentials that are extremely easy to crack, which has been a favorite technique for many threat actors. But the fact that heavyweights like Fancy Bear are exploiting the same issues is interesting indeed. And now for something completely different. President Joe Biden signed an order that bans selling the personal data of American citizens to adversary countries. Those countries are China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, Cuba, and Venezuela. According to the Justice Department, malicious actors from those countries have been actively using the data for spying, blackmail, and other nasty things. So, now sending your data there becomes illegal as long as you are a citizen of the USA. And I'll finish up on some more cybercrime. Epic Games, the developer of addictive substance for underdeveloped human minds known as Fortnite, has allegedly been hacked. A ransom claim allegedly selling 200 gigabytes of Epic Games data has been posted on a blog of Mod Ilovich, an up-and-coming ransomware gang. The criminals claim they have emails, passwords and names of the developers, as well as payment information and the source code of the company. In a response to Cyber Daily, Epic Games said they are unaware of any breaches and have not seen any proof that the data was actually stolen. According to the company, Mog Ilovich contacted them and demanded money, but did not provide any proof. New ransomware gangs actually tend to do that. They quite often fabricate claims against the largest companies they can think of, all of that in an attempt to get publicity. However, in a narrow chance the claim is real and Epic Games' source code was indeed stolen, we can expect some very interesting finds in the very near future. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out more of my videos. See you in the next one.